another day, another opportunity to get some things done on the van. I have spent the better part of the day sort of collecting and, and getting ready to move out of the place where I'm staying right now in downtown Portland. And so I've just now been able to get back to the shop and continue uh, uh, upholstering the panels, which I'm ready to continue right here. Uh, I can only go so far, so I'm gonna do all the plastic panels today and finish up some of the wood ones. I've, I had to get some more adhesive from Perfect Fit. For those of you that don't know, hi, my name's Matt. I'm building out this van back here to turn into a, a mobile uh, podcasting and video production studio and uh, interview platform, all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, I've built up a couple of interesting partnerships along the way, one of them being Perfect Fit, which has supplied me with the material that I'm, I'm upholstering all my panels with. It's kind of a unique material because most people, they use a, uh, a material called Marathon Tweed. Here's another van with a similar setup inside and you can see Marathon, this is Marathon Tweed. It's very, um, it's very geometric. You can see how, how the pattern is. It's kind of a, like, sort of like a hard pattern. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. And this is the same uh, style. So if you're wondering what the inside of my van is gonna look like, it sort of look like this as far as structure goes, cause that's a adventure wagon kit, which are, are the manufacturer of the panels. But what I decided on was a little bit more of a mixed pattern. So this is like a, it has some grays, has some browns, has a lot of different colors in it, and it's a bit more randomized. So, Anyways, these are my panels I've, I've finished already. This is the adhesive I'm using. And so I have this bench set up. And so today's mission is to wrap some of these plastic panels, to wrap these panels. This is the next one I'm working on. I'm gonna spray adhesive here. Basically, we're gonna have a good old time. So let's get started. Gallo. The thing I found uh, maybe the most difficult with regards to uh, upholstery, or at least upholstering these panels, is that every time you spray one of these panels, you overspray, you can't help it. And then when you overspray on an area that you're working on, the next panel that you put on, if it's not a place that you wanna spray, it's gonna end up getting adhesive on it. And so I've kind of found it difficult to try to uh, make it clean, uh, but also get good coverage. Because you're trying to spray all the way up to these edges in order to get everything on, and, and you're spraying everywhere, but you don't want adhesive to get on the front side. So like, for example, that board right there that I sprayed uh, one panel on, I can't spray another panel on it unless I'm 100% sure it's not gonna get here, you know? So, I don't know. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Is there a trick to this? I feel like I'm going through a ton of like this, which I'm lucky, I have a ton of that fiber board to use. But every time I spray a panel, I'm throwing out the board I sprayed it on, putting a new board on. I gotta feel that that's not quite the right way to go. Anyways, I just so happen to have a lot of scrap material in order to, to spray these panels on, and so I'm not having that much of a problem. And the end result is nice, but uh, <laughs> anyways, just if, in case this is your first episode, yesterday, or the last episode, um, was cutting the uh, Reflectix. So I already cut the Reflectix to fit all of these panels and I set up this sort of table here where I have the Reflectix roller over there. I have my fabric here and I'm able to roll it on. And so I sort of set up a little, a little uh, assembly line style thing to do all these. Another thing that I have, I have these very, very long panels. These are over five feet long. I think they're about, well, they're just under six feet tall and the roll is only five feet. So I have to make up the difference for a small percentage. That means I'm gonna to have to seam two pieces together somewhere inconspicuous. 
but we'll get to that in a little bit. It's just something I'm sort of sort of dreading a little bit. So for now, we're just doing these these square panels, and they're a lot easier than uh, <laughs> than these organic plastic components. So we're doing the easy stuff first. You see what I mean? I can't lay this down, the fabric, on any sort of board that has has adhesive, wet adhesive on it. So I'm sort of, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I adhere the whole piece around and then I spray over this edge again. For the foam. And I have each piece of foam pre-cut and ready to lay down on every piece. And it isn't until the moment of truth that I can actually see if I did a good job. And then I flip it over and it looks good. But I can't flip it over because the whole plate there is, is wet with glue and I'd rather just flip it over when I'm done. Next. Okay, this is my last easy piece, I guess you'd say. Some of these actually have holes, and I, uh, I, I made sure to access that hole so that people know, or if I'm doing it, I know how to mount it. But Okay, that's the last uh, flat panel for now. Now we're gonna get into the, uh, the funky stuff. <laughs> Let's go. Now one of the frustrating things, especially with these parts, is that I have a lot of like long material scrap that you could probably wrap around. But the problem is this material has a direction. It's this way. I have to make sure I try to use material as, li as, as conservatively as possible. <laughs> so I'm trying to match up the pieces to the material that I have. I have this big bulge of material here and it feels like it would be perfect to wrap this. So before I do these really long cuts and I end up cutting top to bottom on the, these, uh, this roll, maybe I should do this piece. I was, I'm actually very afraid of this piece because I want the lines to flow left to right on this weird shape. Um, <laughs> I'm, sort of, I'm sort of dreading it, but I think that I should probably do it now just to give you an idea. So this is the material I have. So this big square here, before I start cutting long ways, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I think I, I underestimated the amount of material that I need. So I'm sort of trying to think about how to maximize the efficiency of each piece. Looks like this one is, is probably gonna be the most efficient one to do right now, but I really don't wanna mess it up. It's got so many shapes. I'm, I'm unsure of how much of the material will actually stretch over a lot of these these curves and this curve here but I'm gonna overcut this one maybe I can use a scrap for something else
Okay, so I'm gonna do the material first, obviously, and then afterwards I'll do the, the reflectics. The reflectics on this should be easy. There's no direction that I need to follow or anything as far as up and down, left and right. I have the material cut out. I'm gonna spray this with adhesive. I'm gonna spray the material with adhesive, and then I'm gonna start, start working it. A <laughs> little nervous, a little nervous. So I've got the basic shape, but there's a few spots. This spot right here, I'm having I'm having some trouble with. I'm trying to. It's it's just it just looks like it's designed to pucker there, and I'm not sure how to uh, keep that pucker from puckering. Maybe I just fold it over a little bit. Have a little fold over, and this part too. This part is very, very taut, and I'm not 100% sure how to uh, how to work with it. Maybe I should start rolling it over. If I roll it over the edges, maybe I can get it to I can get some more meat to work with, right? All right, guys, this is it. <laughs> I, I, I had to fold over a little bit here, but I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna put the reflectics on the back and then I'll, I'll show you one more time, but what a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. That took me, that took me like 30 minutes, just that one piece. Okay, all set. I'm gonna leave this in there until we cover it up. To be honest, this is for an electrical port, but when I bought the Adventure Wagon kit, I didn't get an electrical port, so we might just cover this up with a block or something, but you know what, hold on, I gotta put on my hat. If I'm doing the Adventure Wagon stuff, I don't know where my Adventure Wagon is. That's better. <laughs> Anyways, this is the other piece that's gonna be a bit problematic. This is the, uh, area in front of the headliner sort of like a secondary headliner and this is uh, a little bit over five feet wide so guys so I finished the area in front of the headliner so this is the back with all the reflectix on it and then this is the front so do you see this seam here because the material that I have is only five feet wide this panel is like five and a half feet wide so I had to stitch together a section how's that look All right, guys, we are cruising along. Uh, I am coating all of these sort of organic panels. And the problem with these is that from here to here is five feet. 
and I have to make up this distance with a, uh, a new layer of material. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling the edge and then uh, just adding on this piece here. Doesn't look that bad, huh? That's not so bad. To be honest, this, this piece in particular, I think the cabinets are gonna be over it, so you won't even need to see it. The most important part is this section here, because that's what people will probably see, but even up here, up here, this is where the cabinets will be. There's a lot of flexibility with regards. You just wanna make sure that this section here is fairly well covered. And I think it looks nice. What do you think? It's an interesting material and uh, color. It's like not black, but it's it's a bit busy. It can take it can take a little bit of uh, dirtying, I think. This here is the uh, panel that will go over the door. So the sliding door will be here, and then so this is that. This is a very very big piece. There will be no cabinets in front of it. So this piece in particular needs to be really nice, really clean, and the lines need to flow across really nicely. So the problem is I have this crazy organic shape similar to the other side. And uh, so take your time and work it. Each one of these panels takes me a lot longer than the flat ones, that's for sure. And I'm going through a lot of adhesive. <laughs> So this side is good, and that's good, but this, that's the tough part. How the hell do you wrap that around? And I've got to even that out, so let's keep her, keep her going. This might just be my, my best one yet. How's it look? Got that under, under, under area done pretty well. Pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. I'll give myself a uh, eight, eight out of 10 for this one. And this is an important one actually. Anybody that leaves, leaves the van is gonna look at that panel. So, cool. All right guys, it is the day after that last clip. Whatever the last clip was, I'm not 100% sure. Everything that uh, should be done up till now is done. There's a lot of other panels that need to be uh, mapped out, like uh, around the windows and stuff, but the panels need to be cut. So I'm not gonna finish that before I start my big trip. I'll show you trouble areas. So this was a trouble area I can't quite get to, but I'm hoping that I can put some sort of a cabinet or something around that. But uh, that came out pretty nice. I uh, redid my headliner extension and I actually alternated the direction of the of the pattern so th I think it was more important that I got good coverage rather than actually dividing it up so I just I don't think it's gonna be a big deal that's gonna go this way and then these panels are gonna come off this way but yeah pretty cool so these are all of the like really crazy panels and then these are the flat panels those are the lower panels. That's my door, sliding door panel. It was more of a headache than I, I thought it was gonna be actually. Anyways, I think I'm done for now. I've gotta clean this area up so that when I leave, I don't leave a, a mess. I'll be gone for uh, a month and a half until June 23rd. And so, uh, yeah, that's it. I've gotta sort of close up, wrap up this life here, wrap up my apartment that is in uh, downtown Portland. I'm not leaving tomorrow, I'm leaving the day after tomorrow, but I'd rather be ahead of the game rather than behind it. Every one of these panels is lined in the back with the Reflectix. And uh, so, yeah, that Reflectix is pretty cool stuff. Let me show you if I can find a, a wrapper for it. Here it is. Check out this Reflectix. The R value on those Reflectix is 10 down, 7.75 horizontal, 7.5 up. That's pretty good, that stuff. That's a pretty high R value, so coating all the panels with the Reflectix should, should increase my already insulated van that much more, so that's pretty cool. 
加油！